It's that trap house, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't. What's going down? It's your boy Big Friend, and today I'm about to share an uh, um, Instagram clip from Grizzly News. It's a sad story, you know what I'm saying? It happened on the north side. Stepdad, stepson get into it. They both draw down on each other. Stepdad end up killing the stepson. Look what type of shit is that, bro? The mama boyfriend and killed her child, bro. And see, and this was really going on in the world is because, like, her son wrong, too. Because, like, bro, if you big enough to have a gun, you, you need to be in your own stuff. But at the end of the day, it got to the point where the stepdad had to kill... The stepson. And people thought it was a motherfucking drive-by. And people thought it was a drive-by. Come on, bro. Man, bro. That's man, bro. Man, bro. That shit does, like, too fucking familiar. Why do females force they fucking kids to be around niggas mm -hmm. that, they like. that they don't like? What it's the a, what the fuck? Like what the fuck? <coughs> that shit said, bro. Let's just say it. Okay. Everybody good? Yes. Okay, hey, it's Sergeant Ben Bell. It's B E A L L with the Harris County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit. It's about 5.50 this afternoon, units responded to a residence in the 1400 block of Oaken Gates Drive in the Sterling Green subdivision, reference to a shooting. The initial information that came in was that it was a drive-by shooting. We had two victims, two male victims that had been shot. Once the deputies arrived on the scene, uh, one of the males was transported to the hospital uh, with a gunshot wound to the leg. One of the males was pronounced deceased at the scene. After speaking to witnesses, we were able to determine this was not a drive-by shooting, but a argument between the homeowner's son, adult son, and her boyfriend. Uh, apparently, after the argument, uh, both of them produced handguns and shot at each other. Uh, the son was deceased at the scene. The boyfriend was transported to the hospital and he is undergoing surgery now. We're still interviewing witnesses. We're looking for video in the neighborhood, and we are uh, interviewing additional witnesses uh, trying to locate the firearms involved in this. Uh, so we're still in the early stages of our investigation. Once we have some more information, we'll release it. All right, thank you, sir. All right, folks, this is Grizzly. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I'm going to be real, bro. Um, when it comes down to the president election, um, I feel like it's no reason for people in the black community should vote. And the reason why I say we shouldn't vote, because it doesn't fucking matter, bro, because they're going to put whoever they're going to put in office. At the end of the day, um, after watching this debate tonight, bro, I really realized, bro, she ain't for us. He ain't for us. And when I say us, the people, the everyday American, bro, I wonder what American these people is talking about, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's not no fucking real opportunities in this country, bro. Everybody get online and talk about people being broke, but it's, people, it's millions of people being evicted. It's millions of people who search for jobs, bro. Not one time they talked about the everyday person. Kamala talked about the second class person. Don't you know the second class bracket is like the people who make $100,000 a year? 
that's sick. So, nigga, if you making 50 or you making 38,000, bro, you nigga, you like the like poverty. The poverty. You're third class. You the people that's truly made. The people who get ripped off, bro, is the people that's at the at the poverty line. We don't get nothing, bro. If you don't have money to pay for dental, your mouth going to ride away. You're going to have a fiction in your Fitches, mouth. Shit, right. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have medical situation, if you don't have insurance, insurance, bro, they're going to send you home to die. They're going to do enough to patch your ass up. So at the end of the day, bro, I don't know what the hell we're going to do, but we got to take this shit one day at a time and let these people vote for these people because she don't care about us and he for damn sure don't care about us. So I just want people to understand, if you're black, do not vote this election because it don't fucking matter, bro, at all. Not for us, bro.